Can you tell me a little bit about what you are seeing in Ukraine right now? Yeah, it's just absolute misery. Um, the uh, the um, the devastation is just horrible. Um, I think now the number is over two and a half million that are out of the country, and there's probably two million displaced in the country. Um, the areas behind uh, the supply lines are, you know, people are very cut off. And, you know, there's just heartbreaking sort of stories of people who can't leave because perhaps their parents are in their 70s and 80s and don't want to leave or physically can't leave. Um, and that that kind of and, and they have no access to food, water, medicine. Uh, and that really is uh, it's somewhat soul shattering. So we try to get to those kind of areas um, as much as we can. Um, and there are other groups doing the same. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it, 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 it's horrible in, in a lot of places. And, you know, there's no sign of anything getting better. So that's, uh, you know, it in a nutshell. And how many people are you hoping to get to evacuate in this trip that you're on? Well, I'm. Uh, I just basically we just do it on a case by case basis in terms of evacuation. So, uh, you know, a case will come. Um, uh, we've been involved with some orphanages as well. Um, so it's not really a number. It's just doing as much possible work um, as possible. Uh, you know, in, I, I have no time frame for departing. It's mostly based on security. Um, so. You know, whatever we can do, um, we do. So I just I constantly get requests, and then we just look at them and see what we can do. And um, are are there are is the route out? I mean, is it is it simpler in this case um, than it was, say, in Afghanistan? Because at least the borders are open and people are able to go to Poland, which is, of course, now I, I can't imagine what it must be like in Poland now because they've taken. They've taken over a million people, I understand, in the last few weeks. But yeah, I know it's uh, well, it depends where you're going from. So from eastern Ukraine, it's nearly impossible. So areas like Mariupol, which is currently being bombarded by the Russians, it's, it's literally impossible. Um, uh, if you're in the west or the south or in an area that isn't uh, actively being bombed or occupied, uh, then it's um, then it's uh, a bit simpler. But again, you know, there's same things that I've with the work with I did in Syria or Iraq and Afghanistan, it's again going people going through this decision that they have to make, like, do we leave? Uh, what do we take with us? You know, it's sort of it's all the same stuff. Like you have a family, you have a three generation family and you have one car and what do you what do you what do you do? And some you know, it's it's just that that stuff is always the same um in every country. You know, so this is let's say the fourth country in the last few years that I've done sort of evacuations from in a war uh, in a war zone. And uh, it's 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 all it's exactly the same. I mean, it's just it's just complete misery. Um, you know, there's all sorts of sayings about, you know, what a refugee is and the decisions that they have to make. And, you know, the irony of this for me was I evacuated people to Ukraine um, in, in August. And uh, and at that time, uh, the Ukrainians would say to me, uh, we hope you don't have to come back here and evacuate us in a few months, you know, so they were worried about being invaded back then. Uh, and that's been, you know, kind of really, really something, something truly bizarre. Um, yeah.